Hi everyone, my name is Kat Muir from Cheap and Easy Eats and today we're going to be doing almond milk. So today we're going to make some lovely thick creamy almond milk and in actual fact you can substitute any kind of nuts that you want. I, I use the exact same recipe to make Brazil nut milk when I'm going to make homemade vegan ice cream and it's so tasty. So we're just going to call it almond milk but you can use any nuts you want. So we're going to use 200 grams of almonds and 2 litres of water and we're going to use 8 dates. So some people like to put some salt in. I actually prefer it a little bit sweeter and I love using the dates. The only things that you're going to need is a blender. You're going to need a bowl to strain the nut milk through and you're going to need a nut bag. Now, I bought this one years ago, like maybe 10 years ago off Amazon and it was about 10 pounds. And I used a sock before that and it, it wasn't very good, but you can use a sock if you need to. You can see the mesh is very, very fine and it just it stops any of the nut meal going through and you just get this lovely creamy milk. So I would definitely recommend that you either buy one or make one and you will need one or you can try it with a sock like I did in the early days. I think I did it twice and then I just bought one off Amazon, like bought this off Amazon. So that's all you need really. It's very, very quick and simple to do. So I'm just going to get on with it. What I've done is I've soaked the nuts overnight. You can soak them for a minimum of four hours. The reason that you do this is to make them germinate. So they start to release any toxins, they become softer, so it's easy to get a more creaminess in the nut at the end of, for your nut milk. So I've soaked them for overnight, but minimum four hours, whatever nuts you're going to use. And now I'm just going to rinse them. So now that I've rinsed the nuts off, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick them in my blender. I'm going to put them in all at once. I'm going to put the dates in all at once. And I'm going to add some of the water, not all of it. Now, I'm going to blend. You can see it's quite frothy. You can see it's still quite thick. So that was just about 20 seconds. I'm going to blend it for about 45 seconds altogether. And you can see how it goes really, really fine and lovely. So I've blended it for about 40, 45 seconds. Uh, you can see, yucky yuck. <laughs> but you can see the, the meal has broken down quite a lot and you really want to break it down as much as you can. So I'm actually going to do it just for a little bit longer. I'm going to give it about another 15 seconds. Make sure it's like really fine. <laughs> so now, it's been just under a minute and I can see that it looks much finer in the lid now and all I'm going to do is strain it. So I like to strain it with the nut bag inside out so that it's easier to clean afterwards. When I used to do it, I would do it right way around and then I found I had to get in and get like all the bits of nuts out there. And then all I'm going to do is pour this through. Now I'm going to put the rest of the water in here just to get all that lovely mixture through. And I'm just going to blend this up just so I can get all the... It's almost like you're cleaning it, but you're using the rest of the water at the same time. Okay, so you can see it's all blended out really well. That's a lot of it out the lid as well. And I'll just add this through. here for just now. So all I'm going to do now, and make sure you've got clean hands, 
and that they don't smell like too soapy or anything. If they do, you can put some gloves on because you don't want to taint this mixture at all. And I'm just going to squeeze it through. And one of the things that I don't like of almond milk that I buy in the shops is it's got guar gum and all these different like lotus bean things, all different things. That I've no idea what they are really. And they're thickeners and emulsifiers and things. And it lasts so long. And really when you're making it fresh, it only lasts for three days. After that, it starts to go moldy. So you have to eat it, drink it, cook with it, whatever you're going to do with it within three days. So the shop-bought almond milk costs about two pounds for two litres. And I'm making two litres and I got the nuts for one pound fifty. And the dates were like 90 pence for 200 grams as well. And I've only used like less than a third of the packet. So it's, it's a little bit cheaper than the shops, but the taste is just where the difference lies. And some people like to make almond milk and they put a little bit of salt through it, which you can of course do. I've never felt the need to use any salt, but if you feel you want it just to give it that little contrast of flavour, you can. Just start off with a little bit, you can always add more if you need to. And the main benefit of making it yourself is that you've got all this almond meal left over. Now, I've tried cooking with it and doing things and it's not, it doesn't work, it's not very nice. But what I've found is it makes really good bird food. So instead of buying bird food and things, I just I put this out and the birds love it. And they all look really healthy with really shiny feathers. So I think it does them good too. So there's my bird food and here's my almond milk. So I'll put this away for later. Now all I'm going to do is, I'm going to attempt to pour it into this jug <sighs> and then from there I can move it on. You can see all the creamy goodness that's left in the bowl. It's like, it's just so thick and gorgeous. If you pour some almond milk into a bowl that you've bought from the shop and do that, I bet it won't look like that at all. It's just so thick and lovely. And you've got all the goodness of the nuts. So I'm going to get a glass and I'm going to just pour a little bit and taste it and just uh, let you know exactly what it tastes like. I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, so I'm back. I've got a glass. The almond milk has settled very slightly. You can just see how lovely and frothy and foamy it looks and how thick it is. So, cheers. Mm. I really love all the flavours. I can just get a mild hint of sweetness from the dates. And the milk itself is just so thick and creamy. Now, if I was going to make ice cream with it, I would probably use less water but it's so thick and creamy. And if you want to make almond cream, then you could make it with a liter instead of two liters. But actually this is just, it's so much better than you would get in the shops and it's just absolutely delicious. So I would really encourage you to try this, use it for your coffee, use it in baking, or just drink it over ice from the fridge. That's just, I start off in the morning, I usually have this or I have a glass of kombucha and I just absolutely love it. And I feel there's so much nutrition packed into it and I know what's went into it and I can also feed my birds. So I hope you'll try this, let me know how you get on with it and cheers. <laughs>